this is the second presentation done with my, uh, one of my students, Rafael Zibi. And here we um, uh, try to uh, predict uh, if we can uh, predict which student will drop out of, uh, of uh, the, his studies during his studies, but we want to predict it only after the first semester of the first year. Uh, the motivation from this study is that uh, the, the dropout rate may be very, very high. We can see that in the United States, it's uh, more than 50% in academic studies. Uh, the OECD average is about 31. In Israel, it's about 38% dropout. And uh, we wanted to see if we can help predicting very early which student will uh, have the chance to drop out and maybe we can do something about it. There is a lot of, uh, of uh, uh, literature about that. We, 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 we uh, use the Vincent, the Vincent uh, Tinto method uh, the, which, uh, in the 1993. And the method of Tinto said that uh, I want a pass about of, I want pass of the old diagram but the, the Tinto method said that if we will use academic data of the students and pre-academic data and also social data about the uh, interaction of the students in the, uh, with, the, with the lectures, with the, the fellow students and others, we can predict if the students will drop from a study or not. Uh, the purpose of our study, as I said before, is predicting academic uh, dropout in our college using machine learning techniques and obtain a satisfactory predicting rate after the first semester of the first year. The novelty of this research is uh, that we target at the end of the first semester of the first year the students who are going to drop out in order to offer them solutions early in the beginning of the second semester of the first year. Uh, we have access to, us, to the college data and uh, install, install the necessary tools we use. And uh, we uh, conducted the uh, meetings with the employees uh, at, the, at the college and uh, did observation interviews, questionnaires, and used data. The data size is about 6,000 students and 400,000 data details, which uh, the data that was, uh, that, that we, the data that we have was the pre-academic data as uh, the matriculation, uh, psychometric uh, or SAT, what is it now, and a preparatory program, and, and just a minute. Uh, personal data is age, native language, status, debt to the college, date uh, of uh, connection, quality of logging to the school platform, and consistency. Uh, we did, we uh, handle some data preparation and, uh, and uh, pre, -proce pre, -proce pre processing. And uh, here we can see the dropout rate in our college, we have six uh, engineering departments and we can see that uh, the industrial engineering department had the lowest dropout rate, 22%, while the pharmaceutical engineering had the highest, 36%, and in average, 30% of dropout from uh, school from the studies. We can see that most dropouts drop at the first year, yes, and uh, in the second year, first year about 67 percent, the second year uh, 18 percent, the third year 9 percent, and the fourth year 6 percent. And we analyze, we did some visualization to the data and analyze the, the data and we wanted to see if the student dropped from uh, uh, the studies or didn't according to his uh, 
in the intro calculus looks great and we can see the 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 uh, the, the, the students who have low uh, uh, grade uh, drop more uh, we did it with the we, we call it the psychometric but uh, in the, the united states it's called set and we can see that the set have almost no difference the 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 grade the students have in their sat had no difference if they will drop out or not very little difference we can see here uh, the semester average we can see that uh, here that the students in uh, red that have the highest semester average uh, had a, a small likelihood to drop out from school while uh, students with, with that have a low semester average have a high uh, probability to drop out from studies. Uh, we checked how many times the students enter the information system during the first semester and we can see that students that use the information systems about 50 times or more uh, have a small likelihood to drop off from studies, while students that uh, uh, use it about 25 uh, times per semester have a high likelihood to drop out from school. Now we developed the data to 70% uh, of uh, training set and 30% of test data and used a decision tree to analyze that. And uh, we um, we will show now, we will use the, um, uh, the, uh, uh, our measures were precision and recall, yes. And here we can see that we, uh, our, our three algorithm shows that we have a very high precision, 89%, and a, a, a high recall that 82%, which means that this tree is very reliable. And wh what we can see in this tree, we can see here, that we can predict almost 17% of the dropout from school, that it's more than half of the dropout after only the first semester of the first year. And we can allocate them by using these three. What, what this tree tells us? It tells us that if the semester average of the students was less than 61, 86% of them have a probability to uh, there is a probability of 86 percent that will drop out and here we have the 12 percent of the students that will drop out from the studies if the uh, semester average was 61 or more and in uh, in the calculus uh, they have a grade less than 54 we find here another 2% of dropouts. And if, the, in, and if the semester average was more than 61 and the calculus weighed more than 54, but the number of times that the students entered the information system was less than 12 and the depth to the uh, college was more than 602 shekels, there is another 2% of dropouts. And if the answer to here is yes, and here is yes, and here is yes, and the here is yes, we find here another 1%, and in total 1, 3, 4, 5, 17% of the dropouts uh, we can find from the 30% uh, student that drop out from school. Conclusion. The first academic year and the first semester are strongly linked to academic di dismissal. According to the model, parameters who are closely linked to dropout are first semester average, number of sessions, number of entries to the information system, and introduction to calculus grade and depth to the colleagues and the, and the calculus grade. So if we have five parameters that by using the three that we showed before, we can use to allocate the students that may drop out from school. And the recommendation are 
to build an application based on the model and the relevant parameter to simplify the process of uh, detection. Contact potential dropout students from the first semester and the first year. Propose the right help to potential dropout, such as uh, 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 help in studies, maybe to pass a department, and improve the predictive algorithm and the database implementation. Thank you very much.